This hand has simply got to be tried. Two elves, bristly bill. That's exactly the synergy we need, and one kill spell. I mean, it's a very cheap hand. We can comment on your turn, put a count on each of up to two creatures, then double them. Ooh, that's good. Oh dear. Okay. Another fetch. This could be good. Bristly Bill. Bristly Bill with lots of counters. That's going to be difficult to kill. That's going to... That's going to be a 2-5. Quirion Beast Caller. Okay. Maybe we want to fight the Mystic. I have a feeling that we should go for Bristly Bill first. I don't know why. Got one blue open for some sus. I think they've got a counter spell, to be honest. I feel like that was the blue counter for one. Maybe. That's scary as well. It's all scary, isn't it? Yeah, I'll put a counter on Bill, I guess. And then... Oh, actually, do we want to do that? Or do we just want to go for the Elves? Let's just go for the Elves, I think, yeah. Because killing the Mystic is good. And it does mean they can't get Zimone next turn. But then I'd rather... Wouldn't I just rather use this to fight Zimone next turn? Because we will have five power by then. Quandrix Cultivator. They're going to go for something different. Fair enough. But we do have the tennis shoot dryad. Uh, wait, do we? One, two, three. We do, if we want to. So maybe we go down this route. But it's going to get really difficult to kill our stuff. They've got another blue open again. Ooh, Zopandrel. Okay. All right, let's see if they've got the counter then. Do they have it? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So when this dies, ugh, I kind of want to kill this now. I really don't know what to do. When it dies, put X counters on any creatures where X is the number of counters on it. God darn it. Probably should have put a counter here, shouldn't I? Although we have got indestructible. Unless they bounce it or something. Oh dear, they've got a bouncing thing. Or a protection spell. Phasing it out. Okay. Well, that is annoying. But uh, there we have it. Now things are going to get really tricky because Zimone's going to need to double the things after that as well. Prophetic. Profs. Wow, this is a hard card to say. I, I thought, First of all, I thought it said prof, but it's profs. Profs eidetic memory. Goodness me, talk about learning words. Learning words with magic. they got another counter spell, haven't they? Probably. Man, I don't like the fact they just have all this priority open at all times. Do we just attack in with the Shrufus? Maybe? They'd have to block with two things. Oh, I'll see what they do. I mean, I guess killing one of the things isn't the worst. Oh, what are they going to do here? They're going to put extra counters on it. Maybe this was a bad idea. Simic Charm. My goodness, they've just got so many tricks. Please, just stop it. Three, four, five, six. Okay, well. Does mean we get to keep the Tender Shoot Dryad, which is pretty strong. Because in a weird way, Tender Shoot Dryad is essentially a soup top version of Shrufus. The truth is you have to keep attacking in. 
Luminec. Double each counter on two top creatures. Oh my goodness. I don't like this. Ten. Okay. Just crazy the power of just two tricks. Uh... Mm. No land is a bit sucky. Four, five, six. Let's just get rid of this. Yeah, we'll power boost him up. Right, okay, so now we're making 3-3's three every upkeep. That's kind of good. Now if we just get one land next turn, we could win, maybe. Rhystic Study, okay. So now they can double... Oh, speaking of combat. We have to basically block everything now. Because if we don't, things are going to get very bad. Six. We'll have to chomp there. And then we'll just take the... F this is... Are they going to make that any bigger? No. Okay. Okay. Right. We do have a lot of blockers, to be fair. Ooh, and a land. Put one on there. Now, here's the interesting thing. Their defences are very low. If there's open draw. So they do get to draw a card, which is terrifying because they could get a counter or something. If they do, oh, it's going to be a very sad day indeed. Sack two creatures to put indestructible on. That's good. Okay. So we'll give his open draw haste. Double the power of everything. Oh, look at this. Absolutely crazy attacks. I think we're just going to go all in. That's 20 just with Sir Reckon's open draw. Anything? Bouncing? Ether Rise would be... Oh, is Ether Rise... Actually, Ether Rise is... I think Ether Rise is in the format now. Yeah, that would have been horrendous. Oh, that's a scary commander. Zamoon is pretty good. I think I might have to actually look into Zamoon at some point because every combat... Hey, crap, that's good. Hi guys, today we're looking at Shrufus, the Doofus. He wears a pair of loafers. Um, he's quite a cool card because he's different from a lot of the other green legends. It's very small, it's a 3 mana 1-1, one, one, but whenever he hits somebody, you create that many saplings. So there's a lot of opportunities to go wide and tall with Mr. Shrufus. He's just... Um, Kind of a cute guy as well. So if you like mushroom men, this is the thing for you. Um, the standout cards in this deck is anything that wants to put counters on them, I think. But we don't want to go too deep down the doubling counters route because I feel like without those cards, they're a bit dead. So I do like the early ones like Bristly Bill. We have Innkeeper's Talent, Ranger Class and Roaring Earth. They all put counters on him early and then when you hit, you're going to get that loads of saplings. Then if you want to boost your saplings up, Silver Anthem, this is the cheapest Anthem you can get in these colours. And gives a whole team plus one, plus one, really, really nice. Railway Brawler works similarly, but he's just absolutely monstrous giving you all things in, in double power, triple power a lot of the time with certain other synergies. Tender Shoot Dryad keeps making saplings on each player's upkeep and it gives them all plus two, plus two if you have ten things out, which is really epic. Zopadrill doubles the power weight creatures. So that, that works really well as well. It's just a really fun deck, actually. And it's just cute. I like it. Sometimes it's cool to have a cute commander. It's a bit different than normal. And yeah, I think you'll enjoy it today. And I hope you enjoy this one. Rogue Warlock, this one was for you. Uh, yeah. And don't forget also, Black Blade Reforged. If you can equip this to him, it's going to be tremendous. Haha! <laughs> La Noir Elf. Turn one on our elf. Here we go. Watch me lose. Man, Shrufus, Shrufus be letting me down today. I thought Shrufus was going to be good. I thought Shrufus wasn't going to be a goofus. But he's making me feel like a poopus. This Lenore Alves is going to die. 
isn't it? It's gonna die. It's gonna die. Every one I played today has killed everything I have played. Pretty much <laughs> every goddamn every goddamn turn. Matthew McConaughey. No, that wasn't right. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Bonus points to anyone who can actually spell Matthew McConaughey's name correctly. It's, it's a tough one. It's a real tough one, you know. There's a lot of UGHs. I've conceded to the fact that, you know, sometimes I'm just not going to win any games. You know what? It's, it's a real shame about this deck. This deck is a variation of the Surak build I made. And that video, that game play, that deck was so fun. It was so great. I probably changed about 20 cards, which is quite a lot in, in some regard. But yeah, like, honestly, this deck, I'm just not having any luck with it. And I hope you do, because look at Shrewfish. He's so cutest. But he just... Freaking dies to everything, man. It's making me feel like a pile of croupus. Having lupus. Right. Oh, let's... Oh, oh, Shrewfus, he's going to survive. You wait, my friends. He ain't surviving shit. He's going to fall down a slippery, oily, freaking slope filled with cockroaches and demon people. Like, what the heck is... Everything I face is a removal tribal. Put some originality inside your brain, boy. Oh, what are they gonna do now? Freaking! Oh, you are freaking joke! I am so freaking pissed off today. This is getting so old, man. The hell is this? That's freaking three, three for three now. I just want to play Shrew for... Do you know what? You want to know something, guys? I've not... Man I said this about the last video I made. What was the last video I made? Something else awful. Um, there's certain commanders I make, and I can never just do the thing. I just want to do the thing. I just want to do the thing. Please... It's because we're playing... Do you know what the other embarrassing thing is? They've got three bloomin' mana. And they're running rings around us. Absolute rings. He's a freaking ring. A ring piece. Oh, well, what's, what other removal spells next? Bloomin'... I don't know. Just let me, let me have one hit. Let me just make one sapling. Blood artist. Absolutely wonderful. Fantastiche. Heaven, heavens, heaven forbid I actually, you know, get to do, do something in this deck. Wow, a land. How exquisite. How exquisite. They're just going to... Hmm, interesting. They can't block there, can they? Can't be blocked. Oh, we're gonna make some. We're gonna make some MF. We're gonna make some MF saplings. Only issue is that blood artist exists, and blood artiste is going to take the piece. In some ways, it's probably better to not block or not chomp. Uh, but yeah, if they kill Shrufus again, I fear that. Our time here is coming to an end. Uh, there comes a point where I've spent far too long recording, making a fun thing. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's the curse of the request. That's what I'm going to call it. The curse of the request. Whenever somebody... Now, it's my own fault. It's my own fault because I say, I, I ask. I, well, I don't ask, but some people want me to make decks for them. But it's, that's normally fine. But whenever somebody tells me to make a deck of their choice, it it almost always goes horrendously wrong. And I don't know what it is. Is it because I've got a lack of rapport? Something. Some weirdness.
Whoa, that's kind of cool. So the fact they can't block is insane. Let me just attack. Why have they got... This is really suspicious. Let's just keep pumping it. Let's keep pumping it. If they have a board wipe, we are so screwed. Because we're, we're going to lose all this life. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, guys. I mean, they haven't passed. They haven't quit, which means they likely have a board wipe. A board wipe? A board wipe right. You ain't got none unless you got buns. Hun. Bobolin Bombardment. So that's going to be two damage per sack, but they only have four creatures. They're coming in hot. Or cold, depending. So if we block... If we block, we lose a life. If it, nice. I guess this is there. Um, yeah, I get, I get... Do we die? I don't know. In some cases, it's best to not actually kill anything. Like, okay, let's just... So if we do the... That's a funny block. Preventing... It's probably better to just take the two, right? I think... We'll see. <laughs> Did we die? Did lightning bolt or something? I'm not sure. Probably should have killed the blood artist, but I just I just don't want to risk do, taking unnecessary ones. Yeah, because th that's optimum for me. Because I know that they keep the blood artist, but nothing dies. The, nothing dying is the optimal output for hit us here because blood artist is an absolute pain in the aim. Right. We're gonna do the bombardment. Like, okay, if you bombardment before damage, then you lose damage. Interesting. So they do that anyway. Six. That flips. You'd fight a monster like me to any target. No. Oh, god damn it. I completely forgot that's what happens when that flips. Yeah, we lost to our to the Sorin flipping. So I should have actually blocked the Sorin, shouldn't I? Well, you know what? I deserve that, and it is what it is. But I don't know anyone else on planet Earth that can remember a two-mana card with 800,000 sentences on it that is a flips into a planeswalker uh just after combat yeah okay that is quite annoying to be fair because I, I honestly thought we had that but blood artist and goblin bombardment you know it is what it is right let's give this one a go a hand without a turn one elf what am i thinking of i don't really know to be honest i don't really know i failed you i've i failed you can you hear me? I failed you. I failed you. People shouting, "Uh, oh, Josh kept a land, um, a thing, a, 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 I don't even know what I'm saying. Josh kept a hand without a mana dork. What is, I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm going to delete my YouTube account. Azusa, wonderful. Let's go to the sand, the, the land of sorrow. The land of sorrow because they're going to have seven mana next turn and I feel like a pile of poo. Oh, I feel like a pile of poo. Where's our blooming lands at? Where's our blooming lands at, guys? Crazy. Crazy. Rufus is going to die, isn't he? Shrufus is going to die. 
Why can't I just keep Troopus alive? He's going to die to the freaking Omna. This is so harrowing. This is very harrowing, guys. I've been harrowed. Yeah, one toughness. Foolish of me to play him out into this open world here. Absolutely foolish. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm not allowed to ever, ever have fun with Shrufus. This, this is really painful, actually. I thought this was going to be fun, but it turns out a three mana one one that doesn't do anything is pretty goddamn shit. Yeah. Well, it's, it, it's not that. I'll tell you what. It's not that. It's the fact that everyone else is using the same goddamn decks. I've faced on that about 50 times this week. What on the actual planet Earth is going on? I'm getting bored of the same things over and over again. And missing land drops. And the fact that it's a 6-6. Six, six. And the speed in which they play. Oh, it's just an absolute cavalcade of horrendousness. Oh my god. X damage to any target. You know what? I'm just going to quit. This is bollocks. This is bollocks. What the hell? Right, here we go. This one's for you, Dark Beam. Leyline X. Dark Beam, Dark Beam said Leyline X was going to be good. And I was like, no, I don't think it's going to be good. And I, I'm still testing it. I just think. In this particular deck, it's kind of excellent because you want to get the trample in. So Dark Beam, who's one of my loyal, loyal viewers and fans over the years. Um, you may have proved me wrong with this, this axe. Let's see how it get how it goes. Getting against another guy that cares about mushrooms and things. Old old slimy feet there. Slimy feet boy. Now the only issue with Shrufus is I don't have any way to protect him currently, so he's all on his own. He's by himself in the woods. He's just alone. and he's. Although saying that, in the artwork, he's surrounded by cute little guys. This artwork is... Oh, it's so cute. When you have kids, by the way, you become really soppy. You become a little soppy sop person. And uh, things change. You become... When you're young, you're like a bit more macho. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm a yeah, manly man. And now everything's like, oh, it's so cute. Uh, yeah, that's my, that's my arc for you there. My little arc de triomphe. Roaring Earth. Do we just go for Shrufus again? I want to go for Shrufus again because Tender Troop Dryad's probably going to meet a horrendous fate if we play it out early. Now, what I don't like is the fact they're getting loads of free cards. Oh, no. And they're going to untap the lands. Oh, that's naughty. That's a naughty card, especially if they have removal, which they, let's face it, they probably do. Uh, you know what? Let's go for. Let's, let's play this. See what see what they do. They probably have removal, right? Like that. It is saplings that he makes, isn't it? It is right. Got a counter on it. Is he going to meet kill spot? So I'm not going to equip it with the Leyline Axe because I feel like they're just going to kill it in response to the three mana there. So it's going to be a bit of a waste. Oh, there we are. Look, another bloody kill spell. What evs? Blooming black decks. Just removal everywhere. Another removal spell. Is it going to be? Not quite yet. Man, that's crazy. Play a Swamp of Forest, basically draw a card. Let's see what it can get. It can get things, funguses. They're all so phallic, aren't they? They're all so goddamn phallic. Oh, Grave Pact, wonderful. So whenever one of their creatures dies, one of our creatures dies. Now, here's the cool thing. They can't block our Questing Beast because their power is two or less. Let's see what happens if we do this. Probably another kill spell, right? Uh, they're going to give it minus three. Right. Oh, 
Okay. So what was the purpose of that then? I'm not going to kill anything here because we just lose it to the grave pack. So Chupacabra. Uh, we lose a Crescent Beast. That's a shame. Why the hell is Chupacabra in a mushroom deck? <laughs> Flip nose. Flip nose. Oh, goodness, all those untapping shenanigans. Crazy. Also, Majesty. Okay, let's go for the tender shoot here. And just pass the turn. Start making some saplings. Uh, saplings are going to be quite nice to, to be sack fodder. I don't really like my chances. They've got way too much energy now. Untap all lands. We kill stuff. We don't have X-proof or ward. Um, all sorts of other BS. Questing Beast was, was going to be a good win con because I couldn't block with anything. Oh my god. We lose two things here. Man, this sucks. We can't have anything out. And we don't have any haste. So we just can't get in. They've got so much removal. They've used one, two, three removal in a row. Four if you count the grave pack. Um, yeah, I think we've just been completely stifled to death here. And they're going to kill us with the uh, mushrooms, but there you are. That's magic. This is the reality of magic, guys. Not every creator shows you because they're little pussies. Oh, no. That's not good. Why can they have all the good things? This is one of those games, right, where your opponent literally has everything they need, all the synergy they need, everything all the time, and we don't have anything, so... Uh, so we can go to... Can we win next turn? Can we win? If they don't have a kill spell, can we win? This has got haste. Okay. No, I don't think we can, can we? Because uh, we need... That's going to be five, and they've got a kill spell again, so. <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys, cool. That was fun, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Come on. What is magic? Sometimes it's just absolute pain. Absolute pain. Did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos? Go ahead. You know you want to.